Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking all about shopping on eBay and shopping secondhand and I'm doing this because I actually got a lot of requests for this video, particularly when I did my declutter video which I will link up here in case you haven't actually watched that yet. But I wanted to go through all of my tips and tricks for making sure that I can score the best bargain and also find the right pieces when I am shopping secondhand. As, as you guys know, it's one of the key ways that I tend to build my wardrobe and make sure that it's full of quality pieces but not necessarily always things that are breaking the bank. So my first tip is to know what you are looking for. If you go out trying to find just anything willy-nilly, you're really not going to have quite as much luck. So whether that's a black leather skirt or if it's more particular like a specific piece from a designer, know exactly what it is that you want to find before you start looking because otherwise you're going to get overwhelmed and you're going to end up going, oh that looks really nice, why don't I bid on that? It's only $15 and next thing you know you're in an eBay black hole and you've bought all these things that you don't actually love. So for example, I typically am looking for archival pieces from some of my favorite designers which include Lover, Karen Walker. I also occasionally look for pieces from Isabel Morant and also Zimmerman. The next thing that you need to do is set up your searches. So once you know what you're looking for, you can really specify and narrow down these searches so that you can find what it is that you're looking for. And one thing I will say is that you do need to be quite patient. For me, some of the things that I've been looking for have taken me years. For example, I recently finally found a dress I have been looking for for about the last seven years and I actually managed to get it for a really good price. So I was really, really thrilled. It's brand new with tags, which I was also very fortunate to stumble across. You don't always get that online, but yeah, um, as long as you kind of save your searches, you'll eventually find things and you have to be persistent. So I have the eBay app on my phone and I will go through and I will check my saved searches every couple of days just to see whether the item that I'm looking for has popped up. The more specific that you can be with your searches, the better your chances are of actually finding the item that you are looking for. Next, you want to pay attention to the details. So take a look at the photos. If you can zoom in, get as close as you can just to make sure that there are no rips or tears or stains on the actual garment itself. Make sure that you are checking the size and the measurements. I would highly recommend having a measuring tape just so you can double check that it's going to fit you around the waist or around the hips or whatever because each brand can differ in its sizing and also I found that from season to season sometimes the sizing will change slightly depending on I guess the feel or the vibe of that current collection. So I'd highly recommend checking those things and just being really thorough when you're looking at all the images and everything. Probably goes with that. I guess. <laughs> The next thing which goes hand in hand with my previous point is to ask the seller questions. Don't be afraid to just shoot them off a little message asking them about the measurements or asking them for additional photos. They're selling the item and obviously they want to make sure that whoever they sell it to is happy with their purchase. I always find it's useful to just double check on the uh, actual condition of the item too as sometimes it won't actually say so you can just check and see how warm the fabric is or anything like that. Probably the most important tip is to know your budget. When you are bidding on an auction, it is so, so easy to just get carried away and end up spending a whole lot more money than you had anticipated. I have ended up in bidding wars before where it has gone to well over what I actually wanted to pay, but because it was something that I really, really wanted to actually get my hands on and I hadn't been able to find it for a long time, I just let the bidding process continue going. And that's particularly true when you're using Trade Me in New Zealand because the auction will auto extend for two minutes, I think, if someone bids in the last couple minutes. I can't remember the exact rules, but it's ridiculous and you can really end up in this fierce bidding war. eBay is much the same where you can end up in a bidding war in those last final minutes. So in order to, I guess, protect your bank balance a little bit and not go overboard and end up spending way more for something that really you didn't feel was quite worth it, know your limit and if it goes over that budget, don't worry about it, don't, don't fret it because you'll end up finding the same piece later on. And I've had that happen so many times where I've missed out on an item and then it's actually popped up, maybe a couple months later. Now when it comes to bidding, I have a secret tool that I use. I use Bidnip and this is probably my best kept secret. I use this service called Bidnip. Um, I'll drop the website down below. I've been using it for probably the last 10 years or so and I highly, highly recommend them. I have had no issues and they're fully legitimate. 
but essentially what it does is it bids for you in the last final however many seconds before the auction ends. So you can decide that you are willing to spend maybe say $70 on a particular item and you go on to Bidnip and you add in that that is your complete upper limit and then you also add in how many seconds before the auction ends that you want it to bid for you and it will go through that bidding process and this is how I have won so many of the items that I've been after because I'm First of all, I'm not continuously looking at my phone, trying to make sure that I'm bidding in those final few seconds. It's automatic. And also, I'm not going over my budget and spending more just because I've been outbid. And it's also been great for me when I've had auctions that end in the middle of the night, maybe from an international seller, which has meant that I haven't missed out on an item that I want. So yeah, that's just really one of those things that I've used a lot. And as I said, all the details for it will be in the description box down below. So I thought I'd just show you quickly a couple of the things that I have gotten off eBay which I have been super thrilled with and these I think I bought them in the last year. So the first one is this acne dress which I've actually spotted second hand so I will link it down below and also a blog post where I'm wearing this but I ended up getting this. It was worn once in fantastic condition and I got it for a price that was really really reasonable and I've worn this to a wedding, I've worn this out for dinner, it's just been one of those things that I was so happy to get my hands on and the other one you guys will probably recognize and also link the blog post to this down below but this is from Zimmerman. And I managed to get this for a fraction of the retail price. This retailed for over $2,000, which is just ludicrous. I mean, it is beautiful, but that is a lot of money to spend on a dress. So I managed to get it for a really, really good deal, in my opinion. And it was brand new. It had been worn once. So it's just a really good example of the kinds of things that you can buy on eBay. You just really need to be quite persistent with your searches. And also, I managed to get this top that I'm currently wearing, which is from Karen Walker. It's from The Village, which I think... I think came out when I was maybe 22 so it's a good six years old and I was so chuffed to have stumbled across this. I kind of apply all those same principles whenever I'm shopping second hand so if I'm shopping on the real real which you guys know is quite possibly my favorite second hand consignment store. There's also Vestia Collective which I haven't really shopped on but I've browsed a lot and I pretty much go on there to look at all the different designer handbags. If you are really into your designer handbags but don't necessarily want to splash out full price or you know, you're more than happy to get something that's second hand then I would recommend Yogi's Closet and also Fashion File. So I'll drop links to all these different websites down in the description box below. I know there are a few other consignment stores that you can go and check out online so if there are any that I've missed why don't you just let me know in the comments and I can just drop them in the description box for anybody who is looking for those kinds of stores but essentially you really want to just make sure that you're zooming in the description matches and that the measurements that are listed are ones that are going to fit your body because everything is different and one of the things that I do really like about shopping secondhand on a consignment store is that you actually can return the item whereas when you're buying something on eBay you buy it and then it's yours and you can't really return it unless there is some serious flaw with it or the seller has deceived you with their description. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Be really careful and make sure that you really, really want to take home the piece that you are bidding on. So those are all of my tips for shopping on eBay. I hope you guys have found this useful. I mean, I know a lot of this is common sense, but that is typically how I tend to find things. As I said, you really, really do need to be patient. It can take a long time to find something you're looking for. So that is how I shop on eBay and also how I shop secondhand. I hope you guys have found this useful. I do realize that a lot of the tips that I mentioned are really, really logical and obviously common sense, but I just thought I would talk you guys through my particular process. I do think the most important thing to note is that you do have to be really patient and also persistent and just keep checking back. There's really no getting around that if you are looking for a very specific item, and as I mentioned, sometimes it can take a really long time. Seven years is clearly the extreme, but you know, it can sometimes take, you know, six months to finally come across the item that you were looking for. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you're new and you want to see more fashion related videos from me. I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!